That's our load. We're all tied down. I just got to tie those tarps down back there. We're polished. We're ready to head into Ontario. Going to Geraldton, Ontario. Up Highway 11, just north of Nipigon by Long Line. We are loaded, tied down, ready. Ontario. Some people call it Ontarable. We'll go with Ontario for today. What have they done to me, right? Ontario. Nothing. Ugh. All of my stuff is all over the place back here. Just a mess. But that's okay. It matches the state of my brain. Where's my, ah, there you are. It's getting my mounts and stuff together. My batteries, make sure I have access to my batteries. Uh, my batteries down there, camera stuff. This is my camera bag. I keep all my camera stuff in this. I use GoPro Hero 8s and also, whoa. <laughs> a uh, Sony A7C. If you're wondering what my equipment is, it's coupled with a Sony microphone. It's got all the... Uh... Sometimes I use this, but when this is too bulky to carry around, I use my GoPro 8s. I like the 8s better than the 9s and 10s because they have better low light capability. For some reason, they nailed it with the low light on the 8, but the 9 and 10, their low light is all grainy. It's not as good. Whatever. It's all good to go now. Let's, uh, let's get some miles behind us. We need to get working. We need to make some money. Buckle ourselves in so we don't fall out. I've been using my GoPros lately in the last couple of vlogs. Also because it's a, a lot quicker to get this footage onto my computer and edit it. I've gotten a little bit behind on my vlogs again. I have... This is the eighth one that I have to edit now. I'll have eight once I finish this, but I'm eight vlogs behind in editing. So I'm just keeping it all in one camera, keeping it simple for now so that whenever I get a chance, uh, I can, it's a little bit easier for me to catch up. Now this is a really light load. I'm looking forward to pulling it into Ontario, pardon me, Ontario. And there comes Mike. I believe that's Mike. You gonna go first? You gonna go first? You don't have your signal on, but I know which way you're going. I know you're coming here. So I'll give him a friendly wave. Good guy. Good guy. I like that guy.
1 degrees Celsius is equal to 87.8 degrees Fahrenheit. It's almost 88 degrees out here. Wow. That's way too hot for Manitoba, but I'll take it. No complaining. You're not allowed to complain. We just got done with winter. half a tank i could probably make it to like uh shania like past thunder bay there between thunder bay and uh, nipigon but <laughs> ah, i got a fuel here and i don't have to worry about it no idea what the fuel price is here because petropass doesn't post their fuel price at the pumps isn't that weird you find out later on your bill gotta hope for the best i guess I don't know why they do that. That's the only place that, you know, how hard would it be just to put up a sign saying, hey, today's fuel price, like everyone else on the planet does, right? But I, I, I digress. I'm gonna go out there quickly, fuel them up. They're usually pretty good fuel prices and plus we get a, a fleet discount off of it. So I, if, I'm not worried about paying like astronomical prices, but uh, it would be nice to know what the posted price is. Don't you think? That would be nice, but... Oh well. Gonna have to make sure I keep these bull snot shiny. My first trip since it got polished. Look at that, you can see me again. Ha! Got the steps polished and the wheels. A guy I know, uh, Bill. He got it done for me. I don't know if he wants me to advertise for him here or not. I mean, I would gladly do that. He did a great job. Uh, just before I mention people and stuff like that online, I'll just double check with him because he's he's a friend of mine, friend of my family's too. He uh, knows my my parents, and uh, when I was growing up, I had a childhood pastor, and uh, he married uh, his sister-in-law. So it's like an interconnected web. We all sort of know each other through people. I just got to know him recently, and he's the one who uh, shined him up for me. He did a great job. Fantastic. It's beautiful. And now, throughout the season, I use Bolsnot products to keep it clean. There we go. Let's protect that shine. Just don't want any droplets of diesel popping out of there and messing it up, you know what I mean? Work smarter, not harder. Oh, hello there. Huh. That's nice. That's really nice. It's already got a little bit of dust on it. I look really short in there, don't I? <laughs> I left my 
paper booklets at home for recording all of my loads, my rates, my income, and my fueling. So now I'm recording everything in this itty bitty little book and then I have to transfer it into the other book when I get it back. I left it on the table in my shop. When I moved shops, I took it out of the truck for whatever reason. Those booklets should never leave the truck. But I took them out and I can't find them anywhere. So they're not in here. So they're probably in the shop on the table. I think that's where I saw them last. So I'm gonna have to transfer all of that written stuff and write it into that booklet because I, I keep track of every single fuel up. Ah. That's going to drive me nuts all week. That yeah, is going to drive me nuts, but whatever. I'm still just going to keep the records here and I, I can move it over. It'll just take some time when I get back. Time that I'd rather spend doing other productive things, not fixing the mistake I made, not bringing my booklets along. Okay, okay let's get out of here. I looked everywhere. I didn't. I must have taken them out of here for whatever reason. We got a long way to go yet. Hi-ho, hi-ho, back to the road we go. Because we've got a long, long way to go. 745 kilometers left. <laughs> I won't get that all done today, but I'd like to get a huge chunk of it done today. That'd be great. Ah, oh, man. And don't be fooled by the sun in the sky. It's really late already. It's nighttime, technically. Well late evening nine o'clock at night usually you'd say nine o'clock at night but now you could say nine o'clock p.m. at day I love this time of year I love it long days anybody coming anybody coming I'm gonna need the whole road to get on here so you gotta look both ways we're going right because right is the right way to go Right is right. That full tank's of juice. In 200 meters, slide right on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 17A. There was so much going on this last week at home, like with moving shops, cleaning out the old shop trying to get everything into the new shop. I haven't even started organizing the new shop. I just threw everything in there. And we'll organize it another day. This road for 139 kilometers. a liter. 
I'm only 35. I think when I first got my license, I was paying somewhere close to 60 cents a liter. And I got my driver's license when I was 16, so 20 years ago, 19 years ago. Is that right? Yeah. Just had to double check my. <laughs> Pretty premium spot here. What do you think? Right under the light. These cement posts and cement barriers will protect my truck from anybody making any sharp corners around here. And that's where we're going to leave it tonight. So we're done for today. Quick little short vlog for you. Made it here to Thunder Bay. I'm gonna call it Thunder Bay because we're just outside of Thunder Bay. I got three hours to go to my destination tomorrow. I'm gonna unload and then head back empty towards Kenora where I've got a reload waiting for me. It's gonna take me into Minnesota. And then I have a reload in Minnesota waiting for me. It's gonna take me back home. So bing, bang, boom, bang, boom, bang, bang. That's too many. Bing, bang, boom, bang. Bing, bang, boom, bang. That's the road right okay so thanks thanks for watching today uh don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and we'll see you tomorrow for some more trucking